I'm back for a nice happy holiday in Christmas. I had a few red naughty callers. So I might blow my words a bit. <laughs> anyway, it's Merry Christmas! <laughs> Head nod and some Christmas cheer. But no, seriously, Merry Christmas to all of you. And if you don't celebrate it, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or if you're atheist, why are you, why are you here? <laughs> uh, I, I need my nod and some Christmas cheer. I, I am gonna wait up with a headache tomorrow. <clears throat> but, and to the other things, I'm not sure what I got for Christmas. <laughs> what every patriot wants. <laughs> the US Constitution and other writings. Basically, it's just federal papers. And at the back of it, something to do with the presidents, like from George Bush to currently. Well, we don't talk about number 40, what's his name? <laughs> it was lovely. My father gave me it, which I'm very thankful for. Let me my not. But yeah. <laughs> it was a so much fun Christmas. And Christmas Eve, we had fun too. With, with meat. It was lovely. <laughs> and shrimp. Along with other stuff as well. <laughs> yeah, but and to, this is probably one of the last videos of the year. I would try and make a New Year's one as well. <laughs> but uh, we have gone through a lot of shysa this year. Yeah, that basically sums up the entire year. And the year before that, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but we're at the halfway point now. There's two more years, and we will hopefully have a better president. If you if you if you have heard around the grapevine, uh, old Ronnie from down in Florida might run. <laughs> and so far, he's actually more popular than Trump. Don't ask me how. It's just well, at least he's popular. <clears throat> Cheers. <laughs> but yeah, next year it's when things become interesting again. <laughs> and I doubt Biden will run. Hell, he hell he can he can barely walk for Christ's sake. But on to this Christmas message. I hope all of you had a nice. Filled stocking full of goodies. But to be honest, I would rather have some coal right now because it's freezing in here. Coal is, pa is basically now a, a must have now these days. Now a bit of 40 degrees outside. I might, ha I might have to wear another hat just to keep my head warm. <laughs> but yeah, I hope everyone was being behaving this year, unless you are a Democrat. In that case, you deserved every ounce of coal you got. And then you will complain about it because it's coal and, you know, they hate coal. A lot. Maybe for, maybe if they were bad listeners, they'd add solar panels in their stockings. <laughs> I need my knock. Yeah. 
Yeah, but anyways. <laughs> yeah. Christmas spirit. So yeah, I hope you all had a nice, lovely Christmas. We still have a new year to get far to. Hopefully we can survive this one, like we did the last two. We don't know what's gonna happen in the next year. Some of you may, some of you may pass. Some of you may barely live. That's life in general, really. But the, but the most important thing we all have to look forward to is not really the election in 2024. It's to celebrate all the upcoming holidays this year. Granted, the left might try to cancel them again, but we won't let them. We still got Valentine's Day. And if any of you actually have a heart, you would love to share that type of love. Okay, and of course, let us not forget St. Patty's Day. I'm already started, if you know what I mean, I'm drinking. <coughs> so yes, this year was pretty shite. Like, most years, I don't have a but, it, but all in all, we survived, and there were some good times, yes, granted, we lost... I don't know how many trillions of dollars into Ukraine. The FTX thing, that, and recently the JFK thing was re re released. Elon Musk is now stepping back from Twitter, even though it's been like barely, barely a month or so. Yada yada yada, more bullshit. But here's to go over a little recap on good things that happened during this year. <laughs> we took out the House of Representatives. Is, is, is that it? Jesus Christ. Elon bought Twitter, but now he's stepping down as CEO. Good things that happened this year. Good things. Good things. Good things. Um. Good things that happened this year so far. I can't name anything else. I can't think of any other good things that happened other than we won the House of Representatives back. Other than that, I can't think of anything else good. I mean, the gas prices are still foggy, like most of the nation at the moment, because, yeah, I ain't, I ain't gone outside. <laughs> I need more Christmas, I need more Christmas spirit, I mean spirit, too. Yeah, I need it. <laughs> Man, I never, I never, I never the bad stuff. Let's talk about the positive stuff that that might happen. Well, we can always think of that later. <laughs> this year was trouble for us all, especially this year because of all the ice and snow. Trust me, if you saw the last video, I. Slip on some ice and almost broke my tailbone. I'm better now. All I needed was some good night's sleep and something to numb the pain, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but I am thankful for this year. Um. I got up to almost 300 subscribers. Thanks to you, I might add. Thank you, thank you very much. And I continue to grow on this platform if they allow me to, you know. Algorithm both sides. But on other news, <laughs> it's still a big mess outside. I would, not, I would not advise any traveling for a while, especially where I live, because they don't use salt. All they put down is brine, and even then they didn't put any brine this year, so that's why I slept and fell on my ass. 
Bad all in all. But yeah, it wasn't all bad. We can always look back at some things that you probably experienced personally that was okay. Oh, another thing I got for Christmas was my Ruger ammunition. You know, the 22 stuff. It's nice. I learned from my father. And another thing I got was a polo shirt from my grandmother. I don't like polo shirts because I, ha I had to work in one for, for my job. I hate it. Not, not that shit. I just hate wearing the polo shirt I was meant to wear it with. But it's not about it's not about what she gave me. It's about the heart that clowns, and I am thankful that she actually remembered me. That's to you, Nina. But yeah, Christmas is nice. I got my mouth a purple and I mean a silver pur and purple necklace. And I got my th and I got my father a trump hat, and I loved it. <laughs> It was nice. <laughs> I need my heart and some southern Christmas cheer. Uh. So yeah, I might make a uh, Happy New Year's vid if I feel happy in that case. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I, I would just do anyways. So yeah, this, this is Hans Gutenberg signing off. Hopefully you all had a nice Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year soon.